Hi guys, it's Rob Lester here from Lester Bathrooms. Thank you for taking the time to check out our channel where we are all about bathrooms. Now, we're gonna be doing a very easy maintenance job in the bathroom today, and it is this. Descaling our rainfall shower head. Now, as you can see with the rainfall shower, all the little teats, nipples, can I say that? I've just did, a bit embarrassing. They all get lime scaled up and they're like a cone. So the more it gets lime scaled up, the more it narrows your jet of water till it becomes piercing and it starts shooting out in all different directions. So what we're gonna to do today is show you how to take that off and how to soak it, de-lime scale it and clean it out. Okay, let's get on with it, shall we? Right then, so here we are in the shower and here's our little joint on top that we need to take it away from. So all you'll need for this job, really simple, a pair of adjustable spanners and we'll get up here and we'll locate the two little flanges you will get a bit of residue out of this so you might not need a shower tonight which is good because it'll be off anyway two little flanges there give it a little tweak and then it'll become loose it won't be very tight because it's on a rubber washer and you don't want to tighten these really I, I never use a spanner I just use sort of hand tight to keep it tight because otherwise you can squash the washer and it'll start leaking through the top of there. So unwind that and out she comes. So this is our shower head off and as you can see it's all very lime scaled up. So if you just pull that gently with your hand, rub your hand over here, these all these bits of scale come off. So it's quite easy to just Rub your fingers over all this like that and all that scale will just eject out of all those teats. So I'd recommend doing that first. Get your thumbs over, give them all a good clear out and you can see when something's a little bit blocked. Let's take this one here, just there, and then that just clears it. Okay, little one down here, look. That's cleared out. Okay, doesn't take much. So do that first, clear that all out, take some time to do that. And then what we'll do is get some hot water in the sink and we'll start to lime scale it and soak it that way. Next step I'd recommend is getting out this little rubber washer here with something small like a little pair of scissors or a little screwdriver. Just get that in there, we'll get that out and then we can start to soak this. Now, what I would recommend is getting a very bog standard lime scale remover like this, and just really go to town in there. Fill that up, get loads in there. Give it all a good spray. And then I get some nice hot water in there and completely fill that sink up. And then we make sure the water goes over the top of the fitting down into the shower head. Right, great. I think if it was probably up to me, I'd leave that soaking in there for a good 24 hours. So I'll see you in 24 hours. Okay, that's been 24 hours. Let's drain the sink, clean it out, and see what we're looking like. Okay, we're looking shiny. You can see all the scale deposits that have come off the shower head. That's what's been stopping your water coming through nicely and been coming out like a bit of a bit of a fast sort of jet stream and a bit sharp. So let's go go and rinse it all out. Oh, lovely and clean, look at that. Let's take our rubber that we took off before and we'll pop that back in there. Make sure you 
push it all the way down and you don't get it twisted nicely back inside and we go and put it back up. All right, here we are again, with our brand new shiny, oh, oh, oh dazzling. Let's re-engage the thread. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. Try and keep it as square as you can until you feel the thread go and you'll feel it go. There you go. And then I wouldn't use the adjustables on this. It doesn't need it unless it leaks, but you should be able to just grip it and twist it if this ceiling, um, ceiling mounted stem is mounted correctly to the ceiling. That's a bit of a mouthful. It should just twist nice in there. Give it a bit of a straighten. Ah, oh, you're ready to go again. Let's get it running. Now I'm very fancy and I've got a fancy little button here that all I need to do is press and it gets the shower going. So we'll press that and see what happens. There we go. Lovely. All running nicely. Perfect. Super smashing great. Thanks guys for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's been a useful tip you should be able to do easily in your own home. Check out the rest of our channel. We've got other how-to little videos like this, little hints and tips around the bathroom. We've also got installation videos from start to finish. You can watch through the whole project. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Cheers, bye.